Game two between, and I'm gonna color shift this one, between Dentarg and Seraph. Upper right hand corner, we have Dentarg starting as the red Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Seraph starting as the blue Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse. And I'm hoping it will be a fun one. Game one was a little bit wild, and I have to admit, lost a bit of energy because I'm like, there's no way Dentarg loses this from here. And then he turned around, and again, because of the Zealot leg speed, I believe weapons upgrade, some Psy Storming from Seraph and just out positioning, was able to, to pull the game down and win it. So, great play from his, uh, from Seraph, and actually just holding on. It looks like he's thinking about doing some cheese, getting a little bit distracted here. Like, what am I going to talk about the last game? We're going to talk about the fact we got a probe sneaking out here. Going the end around just in case there was a probe coming from another location. He's going to go for a two-gate proxy for sure. So, should be a fun one. Keep in mind, Eclipse is... So, it's a two-player map, but also it is a ramped map. We do see that initial gateway down. Now, Dentark scouting after probe. Is he going to go for the standard scouting pattern? It looks like he is going to go for a standard scouting. So nothing. Is, so he will see the fact that this is a uh, wow nine nine gate from Seraph. Not even a ten nine gate, just a, or a, a nine ten gate. It's like straight nine nine gate. And as soon as he walks into this base and sees a lack of pylon, he will start. He will move on the hunt, and we'll see how he adjusts. Critically here, he needs to build an initial zealot. Okay, yeah, he's got that initial zealot building. And wandering into the space, sees no tech, knows he's up for some cheese. Probe is managing to sneak up for Seraph. And the probe being in the base can provide a lot of support and disruption. And we're seeing a proxy pylon from Dentarg. I love that. What great play. And pulling two probes off the line to go ahead and attack this probe. Second gateway up. First Zealot is going to go ahead and cap this. And I think he's already defended this, basically. Because this is a lot of economic disruption. Super annoying to deal with. Although, could have been positioned a little bit differently. But you can see the probes having a lot of trouble with their economy. It's going to take forever to get a Zealot back there to go ahead and deal with it. So it's going to be less minerals to go ahead and follow this up. Two Zealots making their way forward. But with that scouting information, he's going to have two Zealots practically instantly to deal with the two Zealots that are making their way forward to try to break this ramp. Although this initial Zealot not helping. There's that probe providing the support. The probe turning around getting hit. And there looks you got that support probe from Dentark. Some nice micro from Seraph. That's going to allow a front door breach, which is exactly what he needs. Dentark trying to draw the Zealots back to the probe line so he can go ahead. He might lose a probe or two, but what he can do is he can group them up, do a drone drill. Looks like he is... What a great drone drill. Takes out a Zealot as a result. Two more Zealots being... He's got three Zealots versus two here. He might be able to reestablish map... Uh, sorry, ramp control if he moves one Zealot to the south. Putting down a shield battery just to kind of seal this. We do see an additional gateway, third gateway, being planted... In Seraph's main. And Seraph just marching these zealots around while waiting for reinforcements. But Dentarg still... Yeah, okay, now Dentarg going ahead and sealing this in. So these two zealots are now stranded. It is possible that they'll try to loop around and rebreach this ramp. But Dentarg also up four probes on top of everything else. And you can see, yeah, Dentarg, I believe, has defended this. Another probe kill for Seraph. He's trying to get... Additionally, ugh, what he can, but ends up losing another Zealot. And now, that attack has been completely stymied. He's going to have to follow this up. Nice denial, nice defend by Dentarg. Seraph so going ahead and getting that Assimilator. Cybernetic score warping in. He's got five Zealots and is going for the counterattack. And all these Zealots flooding in. This is the other thing. This, this pylon provides additional scouting information. These Zealots can march up and actually... This is actually a little bit dangerous. For Dentarg. Because he's marching these Zealots out. He had to contain. He's moving these out trying to find additional gateways. There was an opportunity. Seraph didn't realize it. But there was an opportunity. Okay, now he's reblocking. 
where it is possible you might have lost ramp control momentarily. I believe he's going to move these zealots to the south now that he is. So it looks like he's scattering them, trying to find those additional gateways. But while he's hunting for that, Seraph is going ahead and transitioning to macro mode. He's got his cybernetics core up. If he can somehow defend these gateways, he could turn this into a three gate versus two gate attack in transition. Now these four zealots going to make their way across with the entirety of this army. It looks like this has been spotted though. We got eight zealots making the way to go ahead and try to defend this. There are two dragoons, comparatively opposite corner. Citadel of a dune warping in, so he's going to try to follow this up with, it looks like some cheesy Dark Templar to kind of cap things out. Robotics facility already being built for Dentarg, and he's microing very well against this loose zealot right here. So Seraph making a show of it, but... Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to end up losing what was his production advantage. The Zealots walking in, trying to... It looks like they are going to get Zealots on top of Zealots, but it's these Dragoons that are the problem. Actually shoving this back, so he does, in fact, defend the gateways. And Dentarg retreating back to his natural expansion. It looks like he's going to... He might turn around and regroup once these Dragoons... Yeah, re-engage. But this is still a lot of Zealots on the ground. Forced here. If some nice concavity and micro from Dentarg, though peeling these zealots back to go ahead and make these dragoon shots more effective. Seraph so still with four zealots on the ground retreating currently, but it's not enough for Dentarg to really press this, uh, continue to press this. And interesting, rather than going for Dark Templar, he's going to go ahead and get zealot leg speed. So three gates, he still has the overall production advantage. Robotic support bay and a third gateway being placed for Dentarg. Dentarg up to 24 probes. Again, additional probes past this doesn't provide an advantage. Working on that pylon, and he gets the pylon. And that is going to really stymie Seraph's efforts here. Zealot's just eating some free damage as they're trying to, to pin these Dragoons back. And Dentarg once again in firm control, probing gets way across. There, here's the trick though, is, is like, will... There was a moment where I'm like, okay, if Seraph can produce off three bases with this Zealot leg speed, he might be able to turn this around. And catch Dentarg off guard. But with a Reaver that's coming momentarily. And with this amount of Dragoons that are now picking off Zealots. And without follow-up production of Zealots to really just have overwhelming amounts of Zealots. It looks like Dentarg has in fact won it. We'll see though. The Zealots are turning around. Zealot Lake Speed yeah. has kicked online. But this is equal a number of Zealots versus Dragoons. And this is still room to go ahead and do some of that. Staggering fire, and even if this manages to breach, we do have this Reaver. And the Reaver is just, as Zealots kind of naturally group, they just eat, Reavers eat Zealots alive. Scarabs, I'm sure that's how they did the, the testing in the Protoss camps. They're like, okay, Zealots, stand here and watch what happens. The Zealots running in, Dentarg able to reestablish ramp control. There, yeah, there's that Reaver shots, and you can just see, it looks like the Reaver's getting on top or the Zealot's getting on top of the Reaver, but... Oh, and actually able to kill the Reaver. So Dentarg not doing a good job protecting it, but there's still only three Zealots left. Two Zealots getting in the probe lines. The probes, actually, if they turn around and attack, should be able to kill it. it looks like they are, in fact, doing so. Battle probe. So Dentarg now, yeah, producing Zealots, producing Reavers, should have everything he needs to go ahead and fight this off. He just needs to regain map or ramp control once again. And Seraph is going to give it to him. Going to go ahead and back off with what he's got. Single Zealot wandering in from Dentarg. Into Seraph's main. He's trying to drone drill. He's doing a pretty good job of doing so. That's going to keep that Zealot from getting... Well, actually, I take it back. The Zealot able to get at least one pro kill. But now, Dentarg can go... This is a wild match. Dentarg can go ahead and grab his natural expansion at will. Getting a... Shuttle, along with the Reaver. And additional Zealots being produced here. Actually thinking about... So wandering up, making sure there's no additional proxy tech. The Dragoon's just camping out waiting. 20 supply lead for Dentarg currently. 
significant lead. He's grouping up the rest of his zealots. I don't think these zealots can breach this, though. I'm actually surprised there wasn't a second weaver before this shuttle. So a single zealot holding the ramp. The zealots look like they're getting up, but this is plenty of pocket fire, and yeah, that's going to that's gonna force Seraph back. I like what Dentarg did here. He's got that observer going across the north just to make sure there wasn't a sneaky expansion taken. The reaver is going to plop... Reaver and Dragoon are going to plop up in the shuttle. They're going to try to end around and attack the main. This is a fourth gateway for Seraph. And before Seraph realizes that that reaver is gone, he's not going to have... The, his base is going to be under assault. And I don't know that he's going to realize that Dentarg is basically reaverless up this main. The Observer going ahead and wandering up, looking for opportunities to, like, entry points, and seeing a big, fat, juicy target. These poor probes, they don't know what's coming. Seeing two gateways there, knows he's up against four gateways. Seraph, like, he's like, oh, okay, well, as long as you have map control, I'm going to go ahead and take the natural expansion. But, Weaver drops. Good hit right there, gets initial three kills. Dragoon dropping as well. Yet another kill. And that's provoking Seraf to go ahead and all-in attack at Dentard's main. And I, yeah, he just doesn't, with this ramp, it's not going to happen. The Dragoon's just assaulting. Just look at that flurry of fire everywhere. So, and there's GG from Seraf. Well played by Dentard. I got to give it to Seraf. He made a game of it. He kept fighting. But we're at one apiece, and we're going to move on to game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.